Welcome back. We're now going to see how we customize layout of screens associated with technical objects. This relates to number of tab pages, screen group position, and tab page names among others. The customizing path is SPRO, then to IMG, plant maintenance and customer service, then to master data in plant maintenance and customer service, technical objects, then to general data, and finally to set view profiles for technical objects. So we go ahead and open that. And here is a list of view profiles that are already created and are in the system. For the purpose of this illustration, we're going to create a new profile. So we go, we go to new entries. We're going to give it a name. And before we do that, we're going to define the screen group. It's going to be functional location data. And then we're going to call it BRID. And then the profile is Bridges IQ. So once we do that, we can go ahead and save. And that has been, data has been saved. The next thing we need to do is to create activity and layout of views. So we make sure that that is selected. And then we can double click on activity and layout of views. We have our screen group. We have our view profile. We have the profile description. And now we are ready to create our layout. So we go to new entries. We are going to select the number. It's going to be, we can start with general. We want it to be an active tab. And then here we have the sequential numbers. The sequential number is used to clearly label the subscreen which can be assigned to the views in the master record of a technical object. So let us see what selection, what choices we have here. We can select our first subscreen. We can make it location. Then we can select the second subscreen, which can be address. The third one, um, that could be equipment. And the fourth one can be something like uh, responsible parties. So one thing to note is that you can assign a maximum of four subscreens to a view. So for your general view, you can only have a maximum of four subscreens. So then from there, we can go ahead and save. And that has been saved. So we can proceed the same way and create another layout uh, we can choose location we can choose the third one as structure or organization and so on and so forth so again you go ahead and save the last thing we need to do is to define our own view titles and assign icons to our views we're going to select general, then go to icons and text or views. Create new entry. Then select general. Go to icons. And here's a list of icons that are available. There are about a thousand icons in SAP. And you can select an icon that will be applicable to your 
screen group. So for the sake of, for the purpose of this illustration, I'm just going to select uh, just one of them. And I can do the same to another scre screen group, organization, and do the same. Scroll down and select an icon that I would want to use. So, so those are your icons there, and that is your screen group. And then go ahead and save. So that is how we, cr we customize the layout of screens associated with technical objects. Please remember that we did this only for functional locations. You need to repeat the same steps for the rest of the technical objects. In the next video, we'll be looking at different functional location categories and see how we define them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.